Alright guys, so now I have a video of my actual face. And we're in the brand new kitchen right now. Behind me, that door leads to the um, two-car garage. Behind me right here is the cabinets, and that is the window to my backyard. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Um, as you guys know, I was talking in Discord about the spider situation and everything like that. So, this door to the garage, that is where the spiders were probably coming from. So, I was just, you know, minding my own business, walking around, and my little niece, she spots a spider. So, she's kind of like screams and she's just like, oh my god, there's a spider. And I'm just like, where, you know? point it out and I don't see it so taking a look at this door one more time it's a wooden door it's brown and the spider happens to be the same exact color of the door so it's kind of blending in so I come over here and I'm like I don't see anything then I'm like oh shoot there it is and it was a big spider ladies and gentlemen like I don't know what the hell is on my face anyway it was a big spider now me you know being a city fellow I don't really see too many spiders, too many bugs and everything like that. So this came out of the, you know, out of the blue for me. And I'm just like not knowing how to react during the time of it happening. So usually when we see spiders, they're like real small, but I never seen a full grown spider with, you know, the big butt or, you know, stuff like that. So I'm just like, wow, what the hell do I do in this situation? So I went and got this right here, this uh, Glade air freshener because we don't have any bug spray or anything like that. We gotta get that stuff. But that was the first thing I went to grab, you know, because it was in the crack of the door. I went to put my foot up and I couldn't exactly step on it. And mind you, like I said, I have never really seen anything like that. So I'm like, I'm not knowing what to expect when I step on a spider looking at the butt and it's just like it's like this you know like this shape that I'm making with my hands and it's just like really weird so I'm like I don't know what's gonna pop out of it but then again that's my mind going crazy because of the stuff that we watch on YouTube so I end up spraying the thing for like three seconds with the air freshener and a bunch of little stuff just starts flying out and I'm just like looking at it hit the floor and I'm like oh my gosh it's like a thousand baby spiders crawling on the floor so I'm just like stomp stomp stomping for like five minutes stomping out little baby spiders and the big spider ended up crawling and getting out of my reach but I did hit it several times with the air freshener I've been looking behind the you know cabinets but looking behind the uh refrigerator for it i haven't found this first spider but then comes along a second spider and this one same reaction my sister's telling me you know step on it get it and i'm just like looking at it crawl on the floor and then i decide to get the broom and try to shuffle it around and everything like that so it ended up crawling away going into the cabinets and then it showed itself once again I was able to get the broom, sweep it out to the center of the floor, and then, boom, stomp on it. I was a little scared. I wasn't going in there, you know, just like brave heart and everything like that because I seen that first one, and I'm like, a bunch of little spiders came out of that first one, so I don't know what to expect to come out of this one. And it was the same situation. Another one with a big, puffy little backside. And I'm just like, if you step on that, is it going to be like oozing out, you know, blood or some type of weird animal juice or something? <laughs> so I'm just like, yo, this is crazy. But I ended up killing that spider, not allowing it to, you know, climb onto any surface or create any webs for more babies and stuff like that. So, yeah. I got a little crossbone action going on with the shirt. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But once again, we are wearing no sleeves because that's how I like to wear my clothing. I like to show off my, you know, semi muscles that I have. Um, but I also like to be comfortable and breathable. I have big shoulders, so sometimes when I'm wearing, you know, like a shirt fully connected, 
it kind of feels tight right here and it feels like if I can't lift my arm up a certain way so that's why I cut off all the sleeves to my shirts and everything like that of course my polo shirts you know button down stuff they have their sleeves still attached to it you know I can't do that to that stuff but I will have more videos um, touring the house for you guys obviously I know what it looks like because I'm here right now um, but behind me you guys can see we have a AC in the window and this door right here it leads out to our backyard and as I mentioned in the backyard it's pretty big but there is one palm tree and it's sectioned off from the other trees it's just like in the back doing its own thing I would open up the door but there's so many bugs out there ladies and gentlemen here in Florida you're gonna see every single bug known to man um, I have a ceiling fan I mean, well, it's not a ceiling fan, it's more like a chandelier dangling right above my head. And if I zoom out, just to show you guys, I'm legit that tall. <laughs> like, my head is, like, right here above the chandelier. So, just wanted to show you guys. I'm not trying to say that, you know, oh some things are coming you know into view and it's all you know just like you know photoshopped or edited or anything like that what is that bro but yeah I'm that tall and it's that close to my face <laughs> but I kind of I like it here like I said you know it's a different experience from being in the city super quiet and everything like that um, super hot I don't know if you guys can see the sweat on my forehead right now it is freaking 2 a.m. and it's still like 87 degrees why <laughs> so weird but if you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new peace